Mike here, Arcane 3 Designs. It is Tuesday night, and we are live. Welcome. We're so excited uh, that you are joining us, and uh, we're going to have a good time tonight, y'all. I have two of my best sidekicks here. Hmm. One, my bestest, bestest sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Who is, Who is this? this? I don't know. Who is this? Mr. Finney. Y'all are used to seeing him behind the camera. Or not, not seeing me. <laughs> or not seeing you at all. Yeah. Him they're, at all. they're used to not seeing me. No, just hearing you, just right? Just hearing me. Yeah, right. So they get, they're going to get to see both. Mm -hmm. all right. right. All Hear right. and see me. Yes, the comments in the first person. First in first person. Person. All mm -hmm. right. S-E-E. I feel like you're my, like my work husband. My real husband and my work husband. Yeah, I am out here a lot. And I love my friends. And who are you? I'm Mitch from Stone Coat Epoxy. I'm just we just finished up a hands-on training class, so I'm stuck through this week because we're wrapping up with some projects. We did the pumpkin cabin where we did a floor, showers, countertops, and a ton and window sills, all sorts of stuff. Everything, yeah. So we got some more work there, and we're shooting some collabs too. Yeah, and that video will be dropping uh, in, in the near future. And yes, we have several collabs that we're doing this week, including. What we're doing here? What can they not One hear? Mike and Finney can't hear each other. Oh, they can't hear. I wonder if that's the problem. I don't know if we can fix it. Yeah. Huh? Okay. So what about now? Does that sound better? Uh, yeah, let us know. Let us yeah. know in the comments. We have one of those then. We got one of the new iPhones. We got to make sure that. Yeah, so works I think good. that's the problem. Right. So I have a new iPhone. It's the iPhone 15, mm -hmm. and I have not upgraded that sounding better? our mics. So mm -hmm. let us know. No, they're saying better? it's sounding better. So we just had them a little too high, I think. Okay. So put that on. All right. Okay. So we got this down. So what we're going to do tonight, guys, is this is actually a countertop out of our kitchen and our workshop. So those of you that have been to our class, you know this. <laughs> so we have sanded it. We as in Mitch did. Uh, and this actually had the UTC gloss on it. It didn't sure it? did, and it was uh, very hard to sand, just like as it's supposed to be. How old is this top? Oh, four years old, maybe. Multiple years. Yeah. It still looked in great shape, and it took me a good ten minutes to sand. I got most of the UTC off, but I really just got it smooth. I didn't remove the right. entire what, thing. Right. What grit sandpaper did you I use? I used 120 grit. Okay, so 120 grit. He sanded it, and then we painted it with two coats of the stone coat countertop white undercoat now um what we did to the edges because the finish that we're doing tonight is going to be a play on soapstone but we're going to put a twist in it uh and i can't wait to show you that but the colors that we're going to be using are predominantly gray actually it's the just resin charcoal um, pretty color it is gorgeous and so the reason that we fogged our edges is because when that epoxy rolls over if we would have left the edges white then what you're gonna see because the epoxy is so thin as it rolls over is that white is going to ghost through now sometimes on my rock edges I want that under color to go to ghost through right, right? Use that too. because it kind of makes the edge look a little more realistic but in this case i did not want that so we fogged it with rust-oleum charcoal and rust-oleum granite those two grays we kind of alternated to kind of give it a little bit of depth and that's what we're going to go for now we did not fog the flat surface because there's no reason we're going to go uh, opaque with our dyes and our mica powders and you won't be able to see that anyway so we mm -hmm. decided not to um take that time to to do that yep um, i was once did a real beautiful fogging job edges full surface then i meant to do translucent and i went opaque oh. and i said well that was a waste of a time yeah i didn't see a single it. thing <laughs> of my beautiful fogging now I wasted it. if you're using translucents or yeah. clears yep. then 100 percent you want to take the time to fog the actual flat surface because you will see those colors mm -hmm. ghost up especially if you um if you fog it with a dark color and you're using a translucent dye that's a lighter color you will definitely see that okay so intentionally we let our epoxy start sitting up in our cup we actually had this mixed up 
uh, completely about a quarter till seven. So they've been sitting in the bucket for about 20 minutes. Now, if you're new to epoxy, don't do this unless you know how to kind of watch it and gauge it because as your product starts to sit in the cup, it will start to exotherm. And then what happens is uh, it'll flash and it'll get hot. So actually volume is what causes, uh, is it's, it causes it to exotherm quicker. So your bigger buckets of um, epoxy will actually exotherm quicker yep. than your smaller. So when you're mixing big batches of epoxy, get them into smaller cups. All right, because that's going to slow down that reaction and gives you more time. Totally. Have you ever had it exotherm oh, with you in the bucket? I definitely have. Yes. I definitely have. And when that happens, get it out of the room. Go set it outside and let it do its thing. There's no stop in it once it started that. Right. But like Rhonda said, I've had epoxy half a cup here. That stayed good for oh, hours. Oh, so hours. come back and do it all Absolutely. there. Absolutely, yeah. But if we left this and that at the same time, that's setting up in yeah. 25 Quite, minutes, right? quite fast. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, that stays there, is the boys are going to, the boys are going to lay down the first layer, and this is just our background. So we're using the charcoal just resin, uh, which is a flat, non-metallic paste. Yep. And then we're using the just resin pearl white uh, as kind of an accent that we're going to meld as well. And that is a metallic. And then we're also using a metallic uh, that's with our Leslie's Creation line called Silver. All right. So there's two metallics and one non-metallic paste in this. And this is very random. You mean to go ahead and, you want yeah. oh yeah, here, here. You want to switch, get rid of the rest yeah. of that? Yeah, yeah. I love coming down to Texas because I get to play with a bunch of colors that I don't have on my store. So for a bunch of these, if there's any Stone Coat folks in the audience, check out. Are we saving some of this? Are we putting no, it's all gone. Oh. Check out RKG. Uh, I don't know why it hurts. You can't hear it here. Am I mic muted? Is it on? Am I? Huh? Okay, let me see. Hang on, guys. We're... <laughs> So what happens when you have a bunch of us running around? Mm -hmm. All right, so we got this all out. Okay. All right, can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do, we may have to just. Rhonda's taking the lead back. Huh? <laughs> I, <t> <laughs> I, <laughs> I low-key did that on purpose. How about that? <laughs> all right. Okay, guys, so I'm going to just go ahead and finish this um, until we can get our mics so working. Go. Let's see if that works out. Can you hear now? Can you hear it? Let's see his. Oh. No. His? You're, you're okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and torch this just a little bit. Is that unmuted? And the reason we torch that is so that um, it'll spread easier. Then I'm going to just take my hand. You could take just about anything that you want. It's and I'm easy. really going to meld this good, guys. A lot of times I tell you guys don't over meld it because um, I don't want the colors to mix too much. But in this particular scenario, I actually do want these colors to meld uh, pretty well. I don't want to be able to see very distinct lines. I don't know if the camera's following me or not, but um, you don't want to be able to see very distinct lines. That that pearl and that silver are just going to kind of very easily mix in with that. Now, our back edge is against a wall, so I'm not worried about that epoxy rolling over that edge. You know what this almost looks like, Mitch? The luster the ebony luster, you know how it has that silver luster in it? Yes. This almost looks like that. In the real gray color. And that's yeah. Gray too. So I was about to go and get that with that one paste. Yeah. It looks beautiful. All right. So that, yes, I love that. All right. So you can tell 
as I mix, you can't see the actual pearl, silver, and gray like you can when we meld other colors. When we specifically, that was a hard word, when we specifically <laughs> try to keep the colors from melding. But in just a second, you guys are going to see how cool this really looks, okay? All right, so that looks good. I love that. You hitting the edge, Kenny? Yeah. All right. All right, microphone check, guys. We might have got this dialed. Let us know if you can hear me loud and clear. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a super happy face smiling emoji <laughs> if you can finally hear me talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All That's right. So low. Is it still low? Me? Yeah, like yeah. you have to yell. Like we can hear, I can hear Rhonda really good. I did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, she hit my game. She messed with the game. <laughs> okay. All right. So now I'm going to torch this really lightly. Like you say, though, Rhonda, this is a piece all on its own. Abs cool. You know what? This could be. If you, if hit, you this hit this with, with alcohol, some alcohol, bam, it would open up. Is this the right thing? All right. Now, this is a drop-in sink, so I am not worried about the epoxy flowing over the edge. Pretty. It's not going to be an, an undermount sink. All right. Now I'm going to come in, and those of you that have been to our class, this is a play on the way that we teach our soapstone, okay? Um, all right, so this is white, and this is actually just resin titanium white. But you can also substitute that with the alumilite dye, white mm -hmm. dye. I have both of them on my website. What, the titanium white I really like because it's so incredibly pigmented and it's just a, a an amazing product to use all right so i'm going to take it and i'm literally going to just drizzle a little bit of color over and this is all going to be black background noise y'all don't freak out yet i know some of y'all are going what is she doing this is just background we're just going to create a really cool background by melding this ever so lightly I've seen some insider pieces that uh, they forgot the meld step and they, they did they like this. Be nice. Okay, so right. can we meld it now? Now, let me, l l yeah, get up close and let them see what you're doing with your hand. Now, what you're not doing is just completely going crazy. Right. You're gonna just take the very light palm of your hand Are and you're just ju go you're just yes, and you're just gonna hit it enough to kind of cause the white to move. In fact, some of it you'll still be able to see kind of lines a little bit we're not going to meld too much okay we're just going to bring our hand over a little bit and you you can add more white it all depends on how much of that background that you want to have you're leaving these little squigglies a little you bit not like a, not a lot of them just a few of them because I, mean, I don't want this to fight with my next step. I'm pretty heavy handed when it comes to putting my hands in the resin. So I just like to use the tips of these fingers for the most part. Because if I use that whole hand, it smushes in there too much. I'm just going to go a little bit more here. And again, this is going to be something that you need to do a few practice boards on and to see how much of that white that you actually want to have on there. I almost told Luke to grab the front edge. All right, we're just going to hit this real light. I maybe need a little bit of the white on the front. Okay, good I, good a call. Tiny bit. Good call, Mitch. And then too, some, uh, sometimes, guys, the rock face can be a troubled area where you need to really get in and break up surface tension, I've noticed. Yeah. It's going to be cool. Yeah, just enough that, like that. See that? Ooh, mm -hmm. that's pretty. We're just kind of tapping that. Yeah, and you could even tap, guys. Y'all even you could even like tap like this and cause another kind of a little bit of a different different look as well. I'm excited to see Leslie's face when she sees the new kitchen back there to make. Yeah, she didn't even know when she left work today that no. we were going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, you're getting a new kitchen, sister. Well, that's because she made us cookies today. When we yeah, were Leslie. So nice. Leslie made us cookies today. All right. Okay. Eat all the cookie dough. 
I'm liking it. All Me right. Too. So now we're going to take plain. No, you know what? I'm going to try something. I did not try this earlier in the sample board. Um, do you want to go over and let them kind of see this real quick? All right, so you can see I have all these little marks. You see that? All right, so I'm going to take now some isopropyl alcohol mixed with uh, some black mica powder and silver mica powder. Okay, those two are mixed together at about a 50-50 ratio, and then I mixed them, uh, mixed it in with isopropyl alcohol. All right, so I'm going to come in here first. Now, I didn't do this in the sample board, so I don't know if I'm going to like this, so I may mix this in the beginning. All right, so I'm going to come over. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> that, that makes it look yeah. like more like the luck. Right, so I'm hitting it, <laughs> and what it does is that alcohol causes some really cool reaction with that white, and you're getting background noise. And I tell you what, Rhonda, when we walk to the back of this, compared to the front, that really starts to shine more, what you're Does putting it? on top. All right. See it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the ebony luster. That's kind of like it, yeah. Yeah. It's got, golly, look at this. This is so pretty. All right, yeah. All right, the second piece that we've completed today. <laughs> this <Okay>. could be, <laughs> and guys, be Dang, really careful pretty. about putting too much alcohol yeah. on your edges. Because yeah. if, yeah, if you put a lot of alcohol on your edge, you're going to make that thin resin even more thin. So I barely hit my edges with any kind of alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, Same goes for torching, right, right, Rhonda? Oh, 100%. Right. And I'll tell you another thing. If I were doing this and it was not on the live, I would have actually spread my epoxy out and I would let it sit for about 15 more minutes before we do what I just did. And the reason is that epoxy would have started to, to thicken up and all the little cells that you're seeing would for sure stay very distinct. Uh, there's a chance that they may get a little softer because we're still mm, fairly new, fairly, mm -hmm. um, the resin's still fairly young. All right, so we've got that. Like I said, this could be a finish all on its own. All right, so we're also going to tap. Sometimes alcohol can leave a little bit of surface tension. So all you have to do is tap that with your finger, yep. and that's going to help that go away. All right. Oh, my gosh, this is really cool. Sure is. Yeah, and we got, guys, you have so much time, plenty of time. To, I'm not even worried. But I love how the white left background. I mean, guys, this literally, we could stop right now. Because really, this yeah, is, this is cool. really, really, really cool. Um, but like I said, if we were doing this and it wasn't for a live, I would have waited about 15 or 20 minutes before I hit it with the alcohol because my epoxy would have been thicker and really would have caused some cool designs. I love the wisps of white in yeah, there, where yeah. we didn't over meld those, but yeah. then the alcohol fractures yep, it a little bit. Yep, very pretty. Very pretty. All righty. And the pearl we put in, what pearl was that again? That was Just Resin Pearl White. Gosh, man, that's so stunning. So pretty. Now, if you didn't have Just Resin Pearl White, you could use white mica powders. Yep. Uh, would give you the same effect. So it doesn't have to be the Just Resin. You could pull this off. Um, with the mica powder, I don't think you would get the exact same look. It'd be a little bit different, but you could get a very similar look. All right, let me grab this white. Okay. Okay, so, whoo, my white's starting to get warm. That's how I like it right here when it's starting to get warm in my cup because I know my resin's starting to thicken up a little bit and my lines are going to stay a little more crisp. Okay, so soapstone. There are so many kinds of soapstones out there. Um, I don't really want a bazillion veins because I already have background noise here. So I'm going to put a few uh, bold veins and then I'll come back with lighter veins. Now what's really cool with this is I could actually tint this white 
a light, light gray. And I can actually come in here and do a few veins like that. In fact, do we have any gray? Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I just made it audible. I have a little bit of gray left in the bucket. So I'm going to make a, a light gray. Yeah, I'm going to make, let's see if I can get it a little lighter. Uh, Mitch, give me just a just a bit more of that white. So by doing this, I'm gonna have my white veins are gonna have depth. Oh yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Add a little bit of white here to this. Oh okay yeah. All right. So what I did is took the leftover charcoal and I added some of the titanium white and I made me a very light gray. Can y'all see that? Now I'm gonna put those veins down t uh, first. And that's going to give me some depth. Now, these are very random veins, all right? I'm not going crazy, and I'm not doing just a bunch of X's, all right? That's what we don't want. And because this is still very, very uh, young, I guess I keep saying, fluid, fluid then these veins are going to soften. Now, what you don't want to do is make wiggly veins, okay? Right. Not make straight veins because what we're going to do next is going to make these veins look a lot more. Oh, gosh. It's okay. Take it. <laughs> Good job. So much for the wiggly vein. Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. All right. But you That's know what? That's going to be the best of all of it. It mm -hmm. is. That's going to be the best vein there is. I, I guess I didn't realize how short armed I was. Mm -hmm. All now right. You went to the longest part of the fire. I did. <laughs> I know. What was I thinking, right? <laughs> okay. So all of these veins are a very pretty light gray. All right. And you can see because I mixed it with titanium, they're starting to kind of sink, which is exactly, watch your finger, baby, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. All right. Now I'm going to come in with my white. And let's think about it. All right, babe, watch out. I don't want to. This is pretty already, right? All right, let's go. Let's get let's get a pretty distinct little vein going right here. In fact, yeah, soapstone has chunky, bigger and chunks, finer, right? Uh, veins on the same piece. Right. So I'm gonna go pretty chunky monkey. Woo. Okay. Yes. Got it. Got it. Ooh, okay. Um. Wow. That's pr okay. Let me see. I didn't mean for you to got it, got it. <laughs> yeah, no. I thought you were going to you handed it off to get it from dripping. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to kind of go here and we're going to spread out. All right. I like that. That's cool. And then we're going to just come in here with some additional veins. And I, like I said, I want my white veins to be a little more distinct. this white and kind of walk it down. Yeah. Give me a little white too. Here you go, bud. Oh, you want to do it? Okay. Got it. All right. I really like this. I like, and y'all are going to like it here in just a second because we're going to get crazy with our veins. All right. I think I'm going to go. This is real pretty already. Right. This one looks so. I know. It's going to be amazing. All right, let me get some over here on our sink area. Yeah. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to go with another really kind of a bold vein that's going to that's going to jump. Way. Yeah. yeah. That front edge too. That's going to jump that sink. Yes. If I could with this cut out. Yeah. About right here. We'll come here. Bring All right. Give me Got little, it. Can you get it? Just a little bit up there and I'll walk it down and like, yep. There you go. All right, then we may just pretend it breaks out over here. We need to make that piece right there at the front, we need to make it more square. What, baby? It's like you started right there. Hmm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so, all right. And uh, they've probably been seeing me go around uh, and get in Luke's way as I'm rubbing the bottom of those front edges and that's because this is a piece going in an actual kitchen so be best practice guys be sure to coat that front you know inch and a half that's sticking out 
now you're epoxy completely encapsulating that whole project, protecting the underside, and you know, stopping D lambs in the future, which don't happen with resin, especially when you wrap that front edge. All right. All right. So now I'm going to pour it very lightly. Gosh, this vein is great, Rhonda. What is it? We have how many? How many cooks in the kitchen? <laughs> Three. Three. <laughs> I've been sticking to. Now, another thing another to know, torch. guys, is when you're torching, don't torch a lot because that's going to cause the titanium to sink. But you can see how the bubbles Yeah, no, no, no. You have to torch. But just don't get crazy and try to move your veins and everything with the torch. All right. All right. So now we're going to come back in with our clear isopropyl alcohol, no mica powder with it. And I've set it at about a medium sized drip. I don't want big uh, drips, okay? And I don't want a super fine mist. All right, so here we go. Ready? All right. Oof. Now I'm, I'm really kind of. And this is our clear? Yeah, this is just clear. And I'm really kind of focusing on our veins. Now, it looks like I'm putting a lot, guys, but I'm not even squeezing the trigger all the way. Now, look what it's doing to all of these oh. veins that we laid down earlier. It's causing them to look very organic. The edges look really good, too. I love this. Oh, my gosh. Run the front. Well, I don't want to hit the front with alcohol. All right, what do y'all think about that? I'm I love this. This, this is so pretty, guys. Now, I love it. And this is what I wanted. I did not want a piece that was going to be super bold with a lot of big white lines. I wanted very fine lines. Uh, I'll never forget, I went to um, Oregon one time to visit you guys. Yep. And we went to somewhere, and I actually picked up a soapstone, and it was this color gray. Oh, yes. You remember yeah. that? We and it had a bazillion little white lines running mm -hmm. all, all the way through it, and I loved it then. So that's kind of what I was going for. I wanted it I wanted it to be very subtle as far as the veins, but I wanted a lot of background noise, and I love it. It looks stunning. I love this. And this is very, very pretty. This is going to be on the label of our new cabinet paint because that's going on those cabinets. Yeah. Stunning. Very cool. Beautiful. All right. So at any point, guys, you could have stopped. You could have stopped at uh, the background. You could have not put in the gray veins and just gone straight with the white veins. Let me know in the comments, guys, what would you do? Where would you have stopped? Would you have gone with the veins? Um... I, I like the, I, you know, oh, I wish we can tilt this thing. Could y'all could. Could lift it up? Heck okay, yeah. so we're going to tilt it because I want to get a little bit of movement. Um, yeah, not, not a whole lot. Well, you can move it. Right, but I don't want to move a whole lot. Let's just see how much it'll move. Mitch, can you just lift that yep. one side up? Yeah. Um, so by, by, oh, that's flat side. <laughs> By, by torching a little bit, we're going to cause these veins to move a little bit more organically. Oh, that's exactly what I was looking for. Now what's happening, I don't know if Luke can see this or not, the veins are starting to give me a shift. Look how it's starting to kind of give me a little bit of a shift in color. Maybe, maybe Kenny just hit a little bit more with heat. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Maybe right over here, babe. I got this. Yeah, I got this. It always pays to have two good-looking guys helping you out, girls. Mm. I'm just going to tell you. This looks, the fracturing, the lines are perfect. Yeah. I love this one where you come and then cut yeah. off. That's very realistic. Yeah. Not too much. <laughs> moving <laughs> okay cool all yeah. right so now what I want you guys to see oh I love it all right this is exactly what I was looking for all right 
you I don't know if y'all can see because of the light, but now that we have Ooh. torched it, look how now that since we tilted it, how it torched and it made the veins, golly, it makes them look so real because it almost <laughs> looks like they're overlapping. Golly, this is perfect. Out yes, a yes, Stunning. yes. I love it. I, this is this is exactly what I envisioned. All right, guys. What do y'all? Oh my goodness, I love it. Look okay. How pretty this is gonna look with the sink. Sink in it. Yeah. I love how you yeah. tied the white in. Great yeah. work. All right, guys. We make. Hey, we make a pretty good team, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do y'all think? So we. Uh, what can we call ourselves? The. <laughs> mm. I don't. Hey, that's what we all need to do. Ooh. Our team three. R, yeah, but y'all aren't. R. I, I, that would be R K M. My are M J Q. <laughs> How can we incorporate that? I don't know. I don't we need a work. team name, guys. All righty. Kenny and I have one already for when we are in the dynamic duo, and it's called It'll Buff Construction. That's right, It'll <laughs> Buff. Oh my gosh. But you you bring up uh, another layer of professionalism and quality of work. Professionalism. So it won't. Mm, don't fight. know about it that. Doesn't really it buff. <laughs> <laughs> we are missing one of our crew members though so the one arm bandit the one yeah. arm bandit we miss you um do we huh? we're gonna have two one arm bandits yeah so guys yeah so yeah we're gonna have two arm bandits one arm so bandits. we just found out today this has been a hell of a week guys i'm just gonna tell you um should i go full send on telling everybody no we can just wait oh we're not gonna wait so, <laughs> I trumped it. I It'll buff. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kenny's going to have surgery, guys, uh, on, Thursday. on Thursday. We got a phone call about 3 o'clock today uh, that he is going to have surgery on his shoulder. He has a torn rotator cuff. And uh, they said it was, it cannot wait. So, we are uh, preparing for his surgery uh, two days from now. And he's going to be out for a while. So, um. Uh, nine months. Six to nine months. Six to nine months. Just Bare a little bit. Barely nothing. Eh, barely nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. A you know. Sleeps. So, I am taking applications for part time husbands, okay? Oh, yes. How about that? Okay. Good deal. <laughs> All right. I like it. We're going to make it. It's going to be fine. I like um, Brown and Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I will take that bell and shove it up <laughs> your nose. Ding, ding, All right. Ding, ding, ding. I, I am not Miss Nurse. All right. Yeah. What? Well, am I going to need to find a nurse? Yes. Okay. We're taking I'm applications. Taking applications for her nurse. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> the statement remains the same. Crown and Diet Coke. That's right. Yes. Okay, enough. Let's get professional. Let's professional. So, guys, I would appreciate... If you could keep me in your prayers. <laughs> why you? I don't understand why. Because the bell is coming. <laughs> the bell's coming, huh? I'm going to put it on my phone. <laughs> so, honestly, guys. I think if there's an app you, for that. If you, could, if you could, honestly, say a little prayer for us, if you don't mind. It's going yeah. to be a little rocky there for a little bit. Um, but uh, I pray that everything's going to be okay. And oh, and, right. and guys, I completely forgot to introduce our moderators. Yes, guys, our moderators are the best in the world. And I do want to say, uh, I hope Erica's feeling better. She's been under the weather. Uh, Claire is out there. Claire Lawrence, Leslie's yep. out there. Uh, Keith is out there. And honestly, they are our family, guys. We could not do what we do without them. Uh, and they're the best. Um, they're the best. I, I want to tell you uh, the level of professionalism out there and the level that they care uh, and want to help everybody is, is right there. And if you can't tell by now, Kenny and I surround ourselves with people that truly care. We're not blowing smoke. We honestly care about you guys. Uh, we answer emails. Uh, I was answering emails five minutes before this started uh, on people that I don't even know. They may never buy from me. They may never come to a class. But if you reach out to me, we do our best to answer you. And every one of these people, including our moderators, do the same thing. Um, so know that if you are a follower, uh, 
and you and just know that you do have people in your corner. I just want you to know that. Um, okay, a couple of things. Um, we are still out of art coat, but uh, we got a phone it's call coming. today. It's stuck in Chicago. Uh, we should have it by the end of the week or Monday at the latest uh, because of bad weather, and that's just what happens this time of year. I I pray <laughs> that you guys give us a chance. Um, we're going to have it. We'll have everything fulfilled. Just hang on. We're doing our best, but we deal. We are offering the free shipping uh, over $100 and same-day shipping as long as you order from us before noon central time. Uh, we do our best to get it out the door. Now, if we know it's going to be really, really, really bad weather in your area, uh, we may hold off on shipping. We'll let you know because we do not want to put your products uh, in harm's way. So we will let you know if we hold those products or if you call in, have a question, and we know it's going to be bad weather, we're going to give you heads up because we don't want it sit in a truck somewhere freezing. Mm -hmm. um, our January class was probably one of the best pro classes we have ever had. Yeah. And I don't mean... Shout out I, to the last Yeah, class. I'm not saying just yeah. because of the talent, but I'm just saying because of the whole flow uh, could it of been, everything. It could have been my teaching, maybe? Hmm. No. Oh, so okay. well, <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know. No, we really... Spitballing out there. <laughs> we really have <laughs> upped our game uh, on our classes, and I'm telling you, they are amazing, and you're getting the full meal deal. We don't ask anything from you when you come to our classes. We're not asking you to buy into anything. We're not asking you to buy a franchise. We're not asking you to, to pay a membership fee and get our products for less. If you come to our classes, you automatically will get 15% off all Stone Coat products from now till whenever. So that is something that we give to you as a bonus. You don't have to use stone coat. Uh, what we teach is uh, can be used with many, many, many different types of epoxy. That just happens to be what we use. But anyway, I digress. Yeah. I just want to say thank you for joining us. I man, this looks amazing. It does. It um, does. And can't wait for this to be on one of the labels of the new paint can. So look for that. The paint is coming out when March, maybe. Yeah, I'd say. Four to six weeks. Yeah. Uh, and then also, also, hey, why don't you come talk to a little bit about the new uh, product? The, uh, no, but isn't the contest still going on? Yes, it oh, is, yeah. but i got to get yeah. closer to your mic. Yeah. Oh. Why? Because you have one. I know, but they keep saying I don't have the best. Yours is yeah. my okay. quieter. Yeah, I don't understand. So speaking it. to my... my I'm going to have to smell okay. my terrible breath. <laughs> All right. So uh, we have a contest, a photo contest at Stone Coat right now in our Insiders Group. You can send in your project photos for your chance to be on one of our brand new labels. We're going through a whole new labeling process. We're going to feature our amazing customer projects Ooh. right on those labels. So this is going to be on one of our cabinet paint jars. We have about five or six cabinet paint colors. Very simple to use, very forgiving. And we're shooting our very first tutorial. Bah, 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 bah. I'm like you. It's a, yeah. Snoop. Yeah, Snoop, Snoop Stewart. <laughs> we're, we're shooting our very first tutorial here at, at RK3 Design. So this top's going to go on top of it. It's going to look All great. All right, that's going to be, so good. yeah, this is going to be great. Uh, talk a little bit about the polyaspartic that may be coming the out. Polyaspartic, you guys, you guys are here, like, sneak, nobody knows about this stuff Oh, yet. you've talked about it. Barely, okay. barely, barely, barely. But Sorry. it's <laughs> awesome. So um, I've tested our second round of polyaspartic uh, aliphatic never this stuff's never going to yellow. It's amazing. They're still working out some kinks, but we are progressing down the road of an amazing coating that goes over countertops, shower walls. That's never, ever going to yellow, yellow. And I'm tired of hollering, so I'm done talking. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So um, thanks for joining us. I appreciate yeah. it. Uh, Kenny will have uh, surgery on Thursday. So if you guys Same try one. to reach out to me on Thursday, Leslie will be here. She'll be uh, manning the phones, but I'm going to be out of commission. So, um, all right, I guess that's it. All right, until next week. Rem oh, wait, 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 one more thing. Ooh. Guys, I got my 86,000th subscriber Woo! about three or four minutes before we Crush went live today. It was actually 27 minutes. 27 minutes. <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay, anyway. <laughs>
I should have hit 100,000. We should hit 100,000 at about what? What would we figure? Maybe April, May? So, guys, I'm telling yeah. you, there's going to be a heck of a party when that happens. Whoop, whoop. So, all right. And you go might subscribe. Invited. Go subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Share it with your friends. That's right. All right, Help guys. Grow. I will see you next week. And remember, don't be scared. Move forward and be creative. Woo! Adios.